हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल वो कविटा इंग्लिश एंड टूडे इस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट प्रोज नाउ वॉट इज अ प्रोज मैनी ऑफ अस हैज दिस मिसकनसेप्शन दैट ऑल द टेक्सट बुक चैप्टर्स कम अंडर प्रोज इफ देर आर अ लेसन इन योर रीडर दैट मीन्स इट्स अ प्रोज बट प्रोज इज मच मोर देन दैट प्रोज इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ लैंग्वेज दैट हैज नो फॉर्मल मेट्रिकल स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज द मेन डेफिनेशन इट अप्लाईज अ नैचुरल फ्लो ऑफ स्पीच एन ऑर्डिनरी ग्रामेटिकल स्ट्रक्चर रैदर दैन rhythmic structure such as in case of traditional poetry normal everyday speech is spoken in prose and most people think and write in prose form examples of prose are human conversations textbooks lectures novels short stories fairy tales newspaper articles and essays all these are prose now let's talk about the types of prose how many types of prose there are in english literature English literature is divided into four genres that is prose poetry fiction and drama under prose there are again four more types that is fictional prose non fictional prose heroic prose and poetry prose fictional prose contains novels novels short stories non fictional prose contains biographies essays and journals heroic prose contains stories of heroes obviously it contains legends and tales and poetry prose as it is said contains poetry that is written in a prose form instead of using verse but maintaining poetic qualities it has all the poetic qualities but it is not written in a poetic style it's written in a paragraph style yet it is a poetry all these four are the main kinds of prose now talking about the main elements of prose if it's a prose what all essential things it should have firstly character the character of a prose suppose you're reading a story the character of the prose you will find in the character all the person personality traits the social role of that character and the psychological factors of the character secondly setting if it's a story if it is a story in the chapter then it will have a physical environment it will have a social situation it will have a time period it will be mentioned which time the story belongs to and a location all these four things are the settings of the prose next is plot you must have heard this term many times what it actually means it contains of three things or three stages i should say plot of a story or plot of a prose is rising action climax and resolution yes resolution means finally how things come back on track next is point of view point of view is a technical term that identifies narrator's position relative to the story being told that means what is the point of view or what is the take from narrator's point of view that's why it's called point of view and next is mood mood atmosphere what kind of image what kind of image you can draw in your mind it contains of dominant feelings feelings you really cannot fight and secondly the emotions ev- the emotions that are evoked in the plot by the author what kind of feelings he want you to have in your heart after reading that story or prose that's given in the lesson in the textbook or in the newspaper article or essay or short story fables or folklore anywhere yes now very quickly we come to one of the actually three examples let's take three examples of prose and let's understand what words what meanings what expressions are we learning from that prose we are not picking up all kinds of prose all human conversations all fables all stories all novels but we are going to pick any three so uh, let's first go to a human conversation a very simple conversation example i have taken here japan uh, say you sure picked spooky day to go boating freddy spooky that's a new word that we have learned spooky means ghostly fred says well it didn't start out that way start out that way is an expression that you can use in your daily conversation something starting out means it does not seem like that in the beginning what could have happened 
Velma said, it's very simple. When the barometric pressure dropped and the warm offshore air came in contact with an inland cold front, we ran into some unnavigable mugilation. Unnavigable which cannot be navigated, that means which cannot be sailed. And mugilation means a journey or a short trip on river. Yes, so unnavigable mugilation, that means something that cannot be sailed through. Fred says, you're right, Velma, whatever you said. Whatever so complicated you said, but I agree with you. And Velma says, oh, I said we are lost in the fog. That was what she said. You can see here that, so here we see that whenever we are talking about a conversation in a prose form, a new speaker takes on a new line, contractions are being used, and it is quite an informal style of writing. It is as if a real conversation is taking place. So that is what we have done in the beginning. Prose is a formal that has no formal metrical structures it's a natural flow of speech okay now let's very quickly take an example of an essay my dream and see what all words meanings expressions or phrasal verbs we are learning from it my name is terry i'm from ireland where the grass is so green and the countryside is so breathtaking a new word we have learned breathtaking this adjective we can use for any place that's very astonishing or awesome I came to the US in September of 1982 for a vacation because I was curious. Another new word, curious. Curious means inquisitive or something very eager to know. I decided to go home and get a job to make more money. To make more money again is an expression means to earn more money, to come back to the States. My ambition was to get more out of life. How can you get more out of life? Getting more out of life, that means getting maximum out of life using your time, money and energy. The state has a lot of opportunities for young people. It gave me the inspiration to be around people that were able to read and write. I wanted to help myself. It was a great experience to have help with my reading and writing. Not being able to read makes you feel in very insecure about yourself. Coming to a different land, you learn a lot about the country and the people. So we don't find any such difficult word to discuss right now. But we have come across with breathtaking and the expression getting more out of life. So you can anytime talk to your friend and say that are you getting more out of life or not? Are you friend? Is your friend getting more out of life? Yeah, let's take another example. This third example is taken from a very famous fairy tale, Cinderella. Now you can see I've already marked the words for you to make the things go really easy and smooth. Once upon a time in land much like yours and mine lived a young girl named Ella. She was born in a small house with her mother Lily and her father a hard working merchant. So far clear, her mother was kind, loving and patient and her father was happy. They were a gracious family, gracious they have all the mercy of God. Good things all happening with the family who saw wonderful success. Yes, such success allowed them to move into a large 4,000 acre estate. Ella loved the lily gardens around the estate and spent much of her time there. In these gardens, she met an odd yet charming array of friends. Array here means the range of things. Array means range of things. Here, range of friends means different kinds of friends, different personality of friends. Three blind mice, an uncountable number of birds and a spider monkey named Zuzu who had escaped from her wealthy neighbor's menagerie. Menagerie is what? Menagerie is a collection of wild animals that is kept in captivity maybe for display or exhibition. Yes, so neighbor's menagerie means neighbor had kept it. Captivity has been done. Okay, so menagerie anytime you know the meaning now. That means collection of wild animals that is kept in captivity. Months after they arrived, however, Ella's mother fell sick. She died shortly after, leaving a heartbroken husband. Heartbroken is an adjective. Heartbroken husband. Husband, that's a noun. It's used with a noun. That means a husband who is heartbroken, whose heart is broken, who is disappointed or depressed. After her death, he left on the business more regularly and left Ella alone to grow into a woman of parallel kindness to her mother. A parallel kindness to someone, that means same kindness as her mother. So in these examples, we have learned many words, phrasal verbs and expressions. We have learned the meaning of spooky, unnavigable, mugilation, breathtaking, curious, 
array, vinagre, heartbroken. Don't forget to use these words in your daily conversation. Also, we have learned few expressions like start out, that means to begin. Get more out of life, that means use maximum of your time, money and energy to get the best out of life. And parallel kindness, that means the same kindness to someone else. Yes, so I hope this video was informative and relevant for you. My next video would be all about English poetry. So, if you don't want to miss that, please like, share and subscribe my channel. And I'll come back to you every Wednesday and Saturday with a new and informative video. Till then, happy learning.